Oh, hello everybody, JT Bear coming at you from inside the greenhouse this evening. This uh, doesn't make it into the pepper collection video. This one is completely new and different for my garden. Today we went out and bought um, a non-edible. In fact, this plant actually eats other things. I finally got a carnivorous plant to try and put in the greenhouse and we're going to put this in the house for the winter time. Try and deal with a few of the bugs there as I bring the shrine in because if you remember last year it didn't go well. But we picked up this really cool pitcher plant, so check this out. Six inch pitcher plant, right? Very cool. Apparently these things really like a humid environment. So the greenhouse just seems like a natural place for it to start off. But look at these. I guess these are the traps. It's supposed to put just a little bit of water down into each vessel. And then they're going to get smelling, um, apparently it says like rotten meat, but it doesn't smell like anything at all to me. And that will attract the flies and they'll go in and get stuck, I guess. I don't know. Never grown anything like this before, but it's very pretty. Kind of an interesting change from edible plants, plants that eat things. Still part of the food chain, isn't it? I guess they picked up a whole bunch of these about two weeks ago, my friend was saying. And we bought the last one. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to try putting some water in there. And I definitely need to water the plant itself. So... Just wanted to share this with everybody though. It's so fascinating the way it grows. So who's got some carnivorous plants in their, their collections at home? What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I think I would really like to explore the world of these uh, carnivorous plants, pitcher plants. There's a sun something or other plant, and there's the what Venus flytrap. Never had much luck with those, but I'm willing to try again. I seem to be doing better with plants these days, you know, if this is anything to go by. So, newest addition, the pitcher plant. It does look like each and every one of those leaves does grow to have a pitcher. Here's a fresh one there, and in the background we can see a couple more that are just starting off. Very interesting plant. trying to find one of these that's on an angle I can pour a little water into it and use the camera at the same time but I don't think that's gonna happen alright so conveniently enough shock showed up just in time so I don't know I don't want to like shoot it in there but oh whoop that was a lot more oomph than I intended to give it Put it under there. I don't know how you're supposed to get water into these things. And it doesn't really look like rain would fall into them because they've got these little cover flaps. I feel like I'm water gunning these things. Oh, it's hard to get at. That one is hard to get at. Oh, there's that open one back here. Oh. I can't get over there, though. Oh. It's cool. All right. I think that is all of them. Alright everybody, well that's the new pitcher plant. I will keep you informed if I learn anything cool. And like I said, if you've got a favorite carnivorous plant that you're growing, throw it down in the comments below. Throw a link into it or throw up a video and show me that way. Y'all know I love video links. Alright, 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic day.